Well, I gave a speech uh, to the Pope, as is usual on the occasions, and it's 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 uh, on the internet, so it can be read actually. Um, and and of course, I I talked a little bit about the challenges that we are facing together as uh, the global church, and one of these challenges obviously is climate change, but it's also migration, um, and it's still social injustice and poverty and uh, increasingly so um, this 3P polarization, populism and protectionism. This is what um, in a sense fragments Europe in these days. One of these three you think are uh, really the, the harshest problem of today? Uh, well, it may differ from where you are, but in a sense they are connected because in a polarized society it's easier for populism to rise because populism always tends to say the people want this and the elite want something very different and the elite has lost contact with, with the people. And if, if you have a polarized society that's easier to make that point. And protectionism, of course, is what you get when you are very self-occupied with your own problems and um, you don't want to welcome the stranger. Would you say that this is the problem of Swedish society? Because I also heard or read that you are um, trying to, to have the Swedish society connected somehow with values. Even if it's church or other values, it's it's important. Is that correct? That Swedish society needs values much more. Uh, well, we talk about values a lot in our society, um, and um, um, I think we are coming from a time when Sweden has been a little bit naive. We have thought that when we give our young children a good material standard and they have good school, they will almost automatically develop into democratic, tolerant, um, caring uh, adult people. Um, but there's something more needed. And how do we how do we do that? And of course, as churches, we say uh, there is something to Christian ethics that is indispensable for a democratic society. For democracy does not survive all by itself. To survive, democracy has to be nourished constantly with values, and some of those values will always have religious roots. So, maybe it's a, a parent question, but um, what do you expect from? Pebble visit. Can this be? Uh, is there needed some role model for Swedish society? Uh, could this be this like effect or impulse for changing something? Well, this is uh, this is much bigger than just the Swedish issue. I mean, this this joint commemoration between the Vatican and the Lutheran World Federation. Uh, my hope is that it will actually send beams of hope throughout the world. Um, in Sweden, uh, we'll see. I mean, it's, it's, it's quite clear that this Pope is popular with many people who would hesitate to to um, call themselves Christian. And still he is, he is quite popular. Um, so we'll see, we'll see.